If your nose starts running and you're already starting to feel tired and weak, you already know that you're sick. The next step is figuring out whether or not it's a cold or the flu and how you can treat it. For colds, people typically have congestion, sinus pain, sore throats, things like that, whereas the flu tends to be more of body aches, fever, and sometimes people can even have stomach discomfort, including some nausea. Although the two may sound similar, Kristen Story, the clinical nurse manager in the ER at Roper St. Francis Berkeley Hospital, says there is one key symptom that tells the two apart. Congestion and cough can really manifest in both flu and um, cold. However, fevers really differentiate the difference. If it is the flu and you go to a health care facility seeking Tamiflu, it's important to know that Tamiflu is a medication that only can decrease severity of the flu but does not cure the flu. And it is time sensitive as it's only effective within 48 hours of symptoms beginning. But if you catch your sickness later on, there is still hope. So a lot of it is symptom management. So for fevers, you know, you can use over-the-counter remedies such as Tylenol and Motrin if those are appropriate. Um, staying hydrated, so lots of water, um, that's a key factor in making sure that you get better. And then resting, making sure that you don't overdo it um, and spend your time, you know, really allowing your body to heal and, and repair itself. And when in doubt, you can always consult a professional. If you feel like you're having flu symptoms, um, your primary care provider and or an urgent care is a perfect uh, place to go for those symptoms. Uh, really when you would need to come to an emergency room is when you're having the shortness of breath, changes in mental status or severe dehydration. Whether you have the colds or the flu, just remember to stay hydrated. In Somerville, I'm Kate Prestack, Count on Two.